give it a try. Sound check? Sound check. So if we just sit and we talk, we'll be fine? Yeah, but you can't bang the table like that because then that happens and it's all people to get seasick. You can't have people get seasick. Okay? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Check, check, sound check. check. <laughs> That's enough. Quiet. Quiet. Sky. Sky Lynn is here. Where did you yeah. come from? Well, and look, we're a real high five. <laughs> I think this is the third podcast this 2019. That's pretty scary. That's very, very sad. Skylin, would you like to say anything before you head off onto your date? She's dating now. She's 11. No, she's going on a date with her father. It's dinner, not a date. I'm sorry. Sorry, dinner. Dinner. Um, I would just like to say um, it's their fault that you haven't seen me. Um, It's our fault that we haven't seen each, Each other. other. Mm-hmm. And happy Labor Day. Yes, Labor Day. Coming up. Next week. For all you laborers and children laborers. No children laborers. There are no children laborers. Not in our world, hopefully. Okay, have fun with your daddy. Love you, honey. Love you, honey. Mm, yeah. Bye. 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 Oh, my word. Let us just say in one sentence. In the last month, Debbie's quit her job of 25 years. Skyland has started sixth grade, July 26th. Two days later, my son drove nine hours out to start school in Harding University. And then two days after that, my oldest son jumped out of an airplane and broke his leg. That's all you need to know. Okay. <laughs> Hope you guys are good. See you on Instagram. Seriously, we've had a lot of crazy oh, stuff going on. Yeah, the last six months, the first six months of the year were just loopy crazy. We've I don't got remember. two rec- two podcasts in for the first six months. It's pretty bad, but we're coming back because coming I've back. made some balancing changes in my life. Specifically, Are you my professional life okay. is going to be a lot more calm. Mm-hmm. I'm hoping mm-hmm. I'm doing something. Still civil engineering, but quite different from my old job. I'm really excited for this new challenge. And I have so much more brain space. Not this past two days. Oh, wow. We've We've been been getting cobwebs out. out. Oh, my gosh. You guys, I couldn't even count stitches and add two numbers together. It was terrible. Mm -hmm. We needed to use the calculator to double check. (laughs) Like three times. I use the calculator from the beginning. I think just uses her brain. No, I think I... I think I redid that garter tab cast on like five times before I got she the did. numbers she right. Did. Oh my gosh. I'm preparing for our mystery knit along in the spring. She's so working, excited. We're working on the Mother's Day MCAL for yes. 2000. Let me at least show my yarns just really quick. I'll grab my Okay, yarn. so it's going to be okay. two color something. It's going to be a two color something, and these are my yarns. Aren't they gorgeous? And the colors are exactly the way they are in real life. Let's talk about They're them. very close, huh? That's the Yak Blend from Carrie. Woolly Yak. Yuck 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 Yarns. yarns. And Mm, mm, mm. beautiful. Dark blue. I don't remember the name. Midnight something. And this is called Sunshine and Daisies, I think. It's a beautiful green. Oh, is that the name of that one? Yeah. Mm. So I'm really excited about that. Finally designing again. Finally knitting again. You guys, for the first six months. Have you? If you go on my Instagram and you do that Debbie Reese FO 2019. Mm-hmm. I there's think nothing there's like there. three. Oh. Two pairs of socks and. A hat. Yes. Daniel's Seriously. Hat. Yes. I don't even know if I put Daniel's hat in there. Maybe I have one more thing. But anyways. She's been name. knitting a lot. Yes, but. I Look at like this sure. beautiful thing. Oh, yes. Excuse Talk me. Talk about it. This is my second, this is my first ripple crop top. Look how pretty. Okay, tell us what this oh is. Oh my gosh, I totally, ooh. You totally what? Okay, the bottom one's red, the next one is brown, the this next is one's a little bit strength. less brown, right? 
Lamb strings and then Hugh Loco? Mm -hmm. I have to look it up. This okay. is this, it's on your Instagram. It's on my Instagram. Go look it up. And actually, I have a pattern page, project page, and Ravelry you do? that tells what the modifications, the fade patterning. Good for and you. Amy, I did I'm so some, excited. I know, wasn't I so good? And I did a little bit, you can almost kind of see, I did a few rows of girl shaping. And I started the V-neck higher than the pattern shows is does because I wanted it not to be so deep. I love the teal speckle with the red. That Isn't pretty? looks really pretty. Yeah. And I did a little Wendy stripe on this cuff. <laughs> so that came out really nicely. And I had got that done to wear up to California a month yeah. ago. And right away I cast on a blue one. Huh. You know, we've been recording. You came out. It was too much going on. And when you strike, this is a little bit longer sleeves. Oh, But this yeah. is just a three-color fade. Hold on. I need to get it out. Oh, shit. Sorry for the bumping. So, come here. <laughs> come in this way, silly. So, this color... Oh, I just showed my bra. I just flashed everybody. Ooh. Did you see that? Do not rewind. Do not slow mo. <laughs> okay, so this is this dark blue is um, an over dye from the skin I had in my stash, and this is Hugh Loco Little Sister, and this is Lee La Lu Love, which Dag, which Dag Bird, um, paper Dag on Instagram. Yeah, Zia Wools is Zia her Wools, company. Um, dyed for when we went out to. New Mexico, the Knitter Knitting New Mexico retreat. So I just thought in these two colors, the base of these two colors, it's almost like it's the same yarn except this is speckles and this does not. It was crazy. Yeah, it's beautiful. beautiful. So I did nice the same job. And again, ripple crop top, but ripple you crop extended top. it a little bit longer. Yes, because supposed to be. Oh, and I did the Kitchener with the wrong side spacing instead of the right side spacing. Made a pretty little made a little pretty little edge on the top, which I kinda like. I think did I start off and it was a mistake and I got all the way kitchener all across 46. Like, I'm not stitches. taking that out. And I said, that is brilliant design feature. feature. <laughs> I must remember how to do that on the other side. <laughs> That's so. okay. Sometimes that's how we discover new little things that make our work our own and we end up really liking it when it's done. Yes, why not? Like this mistake I made on this thing. Mm -hmm. And it, I'm really glad I ended up making that mistake. Why so, don't you? I feel like I have to blow my nose. Why I'm going to get a tissue. Sometimes allergies come whether you want them to or not. So this is the first staycation I've ever had in my entire really? life. I've never had a staycation. You just stayed home and didn't do anything? Well, I do that all the time, but I didn't call it a staycation. <laughs> well, you take time off work. That's what the I don't. Part is. I, I I take time off work to go somewhere and go on a vacation, <clears throat> but I've never taken time off work and stayed home. That's because I haven't come out here in a really long time. You know, I gave you excuse to try the staycation. That's right. So I flew out here on Thursday. I'm in between my two jobs. Do people don't even know when it off. is? What is it? It is. We usually say today's Sunday, August twenty fifth. Got it. Okay. We cannot forget Nana, Mama and Dad's anniversary. It's coming up. I've already sent a card. Have oh. you? Somebody is the favorite. Ooh, I'm in the other one is not. I'm going to have to go up there. Okay. Oh, you can visit. I cannot. It's a Friday, right? Mm -hmm. so it's okay. Friday coming up. So I came out here on Thursday night. I'm leaving on Tuesday morning. So we have Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. Amy took Monday and Friday off, which was great. She originally texted me, can I ride to your patient's houses with you on Friday? I'm like, She's like, oh, no, no, I'm not working. <laughs> I'm, you're coming out here about working. So we went down to our local yarn store. One of my local yarn stores is called Revival Yarn. Yes. We're going to put a lot of pictures in there. In end. Athens, Georgia. In Athens, Georgia. Sweet, sweet little store. And we had the whole store to ourselves because it was 10.30 on a Friday. Yeah. And UGA kids were in class. and I bought this as my vacation yes. souvenir yarn. Isn't it beautiful? Oh, I love it. It's a beautiful dreaming color, mm -hmm. smooshy, mm -hmm. 80, 10, 10, wool, cashmere, nylon, nylon blend. And I'm holding it double 
and knitting Shorty's socks for like slipper socks. Okay, so what happened was should I show it? What had happened? I haven't seen open my hands yet. Danny Little Bobbins had posted this beautiful set of Shorties using DK. I so I had to cast on right away. And I cast on I made this sock. I cast on 48 stitches on a US 4. And they fit pretty well, not so, so tight, but they fit my husband perfectly. So I said, you knit those top down? I knit these top down. I knit mine toe up. And I started to fingering weight held double. These are DK. All right, this is DK. So, and this is two colors, actually. These are two skeins that I over dyed as well. I don't know. This must be the thing. She's so hard to please. She always uh, has to make everything her own. I guess. What is up with that? I know. Whatever. So I said to Debbie, and it was really funny because we went to the store, and we were looking for DK blend with nylon, and they said we don't they we didn't don't carry DK that with nylon. It was all 100% wool. So that's why I decided I'll just get fingering and I'll hold it double. It's a little bit thicker than DK. It is a little thicker than DK. So Debbie only, cast on 48, she started toe up, and she says, this is way, way too, too big. big. Loose. So I said, well, take off, cat, you know, rip back to where you increase for the toe and just do 40. And it was 40, probably right? that, yes, it was probably that much like too half big. Inch. So we figured four stitches on one side, four stitches on the other. I went down to 40. And it let was me perfect. tell you. What did you do yours on? I knit this three, right? on a three. Mm -hmm. I knit this in less in a day. I basically it is the fastest knit it yesterday. Day. And the mistake that I made, you know how I usually increase on the foot stitches to make room for more stitches across my heel. What is that? It's her phone. Oh, and she's okay. bumping the table, getting up. Excuse yeah. us while we have a earthquake. earthquake. That's right. Skyland, stop bumping the. table. <laughs> so, Georgia, uh, Georgia, we're podcasting. <laughs> <laughs> I usually just increase on the heel side, but I made a mistake and I actually increase on both the heel stitches and the nice top heel stitches. bubbles. I know, look at those bubbles like my boob bubbles from my one but mashup you know sweater. What? It ended up being a blessing because it I gave you more that room. extra depth. I should put it on. You realize side. how high a instep you have. I do. It's so what I wanted to do is knit a pair of shorties, DK shorties for Sky. She tried it on and she's like, yeah, it feels okay. It's a little bit kind of loose, mom. Then I tried it on my husband. And he says, these are perfect. These are better than the ones you knit before. He says, the show? other ones feel like, oh, here we go. How flexible can a 50 year old be? Almost 50 year old. Look, they fit perfect. And they're nice and snug right here where I where I went back down. I increase and then I decrease back down right here to the 40. Get it a little closer to the center of the screen. Lean back oh, and hush. crack your leg. Wait, this is backwards. Okay. See? Can you see the gusset? Where's yeah. the gusset? Up here. Yeah, right there. See see right here where there's more stitches right there where this goes whoop, makes a little bubble up here. That's Good thing you had that, or you may not have been able to get it. I don't think part. I would have been able to fit, but it works now. It's very nice. It comes right off. Oh. It's nice and snug. Oh. So okay. then my husband starts having like the truth telling session. Oh. Well, all the other shorties you've knit for me, it almost feels like it, like they're going to slip off. Or what did he say? No, he said this top edge was it's too he, he tight. He's going to break the yarn trying, trying to, get to get it, it on. I said, how many of shorties have I made for you? You've never told me that. Well, I... So I taught her how to do a stretchy cast on using the slip knot cast on. It's a lot. Well, this is a cast off. But. So I made these quickly within two days, right? I said, okay, now it's Sky's mm -hmm. turn. Sky is going to get a pair of shorties. Look at how much I got done in the second sock already. This is from this morning. I cast yeah. this on actually last night. I got this much cast on it. When you're sitting around with your sister and doing nothing but watching TV and Serengeti, we've got to talk about Serengeti. Oh, yes. So Skyland chose out of the stash. This pink is actually tweed leftover that Carrie from Yucca Guinea Yarns dyed for me for the brim of Brooke's hat for last Christmas. Oh, like, right. I didn't know all that. This green mm -hmm. is actually sport. It's not DK. Oh, really? It's sport. I dyed this. This is in your because I love her wrap. Oh this yes, the min Dag minty the green. Sport. Yes, and so this and this blue is a custom dye that I did. Um, oh so God. this is DK. So I this was the sock from hell. 
I didn't know it when I kissed on, but it was. Plus, there are all kinds of troubles. I put the first stripe right where the heel was supposed to be. So then I tried to take out, and then I had to, then I just, then I just, then I, just, then I started knitting down. I said, well, then I'll knit down. I'll do the cuff from the bottom up, which I never do. So then I bound off. It was too tight. I had to rip that out. And Debbie's like, here, just do the stretchy bundle. I said, I have. No, you have to do it looser. So she did that for me. And I put it in the did heel. You, did you end up? Binding that off with the bigger needle? I didn't bind no. that off for you. Yes, you did. Last night you did. Oh, I did? Yeah. I don't remember. I guess. It wasn't a bigger needle. So, 48 stitches, US 3. Perfect for women's shoes. Slipper Pink. socks. Perfect, Perfect for, for sky. sky. Yes. <laughs> and mine are fingering held double, 40 stitches. I started with 10, increased to 40. Think US about three. how many <clears throat> single skeins that people have in their stash. And unless you're going to make a fade, what are you going to make with it? Maybe well, a you single can make a skein. pair of socks, but sing, single weight, single strand socks, they take a long time. So split your ball into two, mm -hmm. hold it double, and try out US 3, which is a three millimeter, right? Uh, I, I think know. threes are threes. Okay. US 3. 40 stitches to 40, 40 stitches. 44, maybe? <laughs> I, have a US, found, I have a women's nine. Because we foot. found out that even though fingering weight mm -hmm. held double mm -hmm. is double knitting, supposedly DK, it's a little it's bit thicker. It's more like a light it's worsted. Between, it's between a DK and a worsted. Mm -hmm. That's what we have found. Or maybe it's just the cashmere. I don't know. Yeah, maybe the yarn. Maybe the yarn is kind of plump. I don't know. I can't really tell. I mean, this almost looks like your DK, or the sport that you were using. It's pretty plump. Anyways. Talking about plump. I'm kidding. I also... Uh, let's not talk about being plump. <clears throat> That's another life change that I'm in the process of enacting. Getting back to trying to... Has anybody else being healthy. found that as menopause approaches and you're going through all of that that things change in the ability to manage weight. And even when you're trying, even though you're cutting down what you're eating and you're exercising and you're you go a, whole, every other you go a hour. whole week and you're like, I'm doing great. I'm not going to weigh every day. I'm going to weigh at the end of the week and nothing happens. You, did, you went nothing. a whole week with nothing? No, you yes. lost. I went a whole week with nothing, mm. but I didn't give up. So over the last, I started, after I got back from California, because we ate like hogs, which was really great. Thanks, Nan and Papa, because yes. they paid for all the food. So why not eat like hogs, right? Ice That's cream it. every other night. Oh, it was fabulous. Anyway, <sighs> but over the last almost, uh, what well, was a month by the calendar, it was almost five weeks. I had lost almost six pounds. So you say in a month, well, if That's you lose six bad, pounds though. every month, then you're going to be... Within five or six months, you'll be down to where you want to be. Yeah. Then you got to figure out how to keep it there. It's just like, well, yeah, that's the problem. Yes. You can only add a little bit. That's dad. No, that's mom. Hold oh. on a minute. Hold on. I'm just going to talk to the knitting man. Hello? Hey. Great. Oh, you like it? I just think it looks really, really wonderful. You got that pattern down. Perfect. You better disclose what we're doing right oh, now. Oh, you so are should... um, on speaker and we're, we're recording our podcast, but that's okay. I'll take a call from my mother. Oh, oh no, no. I won't interrupt. Say hi to I the gang. Up. Call me when you're done. Okay. I'm sorry, everybody. Happy podcast day. <laughs> Happy. Thank you, Knitting Nana. Love you. Call you later. We'll call you in a bit. Okay. Okay. Bye. -bye. Bye. She's like, oh, I don't want to interrupt. <laughs> so okay. we're talking about menopause and that. Oh, well, and when I we know, record live, like uh, on directly onto my computer, it only takes clips for some reason. We got to splice them together. And just like I've summer. been told, I know there's a lot of herbal things and pills and hormones and injections and all of that. But I've heard that when you stop doing that, when you're 85 years old and don't want to take the pills anymore or the herbal supplements anymore, you're going to go through all the hot flashes anyway. So you might as well just barrel through, put your head down and do it. While well, you're still busy and working, right? Right. And you, 
Maybe you don't realize it when it's happening all yeah, the time, every time. It's higher tolerance for stuff like that. But let's talk about bags. The most awesome bags around. Awesome Granny bags. Bags by Awesome Granny Darlene. She is having a Labor Day sale, 20% off all of her bags in her shop. Do you have to do a code or anything? No code needed. Wow. Let me she show you some of the bags that she makes. Makes the best bags ever. Look how cute this I have bag this is. exact bag. Now you get to have it. I know. And this one's Debbie. Yay. Look, it's going to match my mystery middle one. It's green. Nice. Is that straight? Yep. Bags by Awesome Granny, Etsy.com. And it's the best quality. I want to take bag. one out. Okay. <clears throat> Let me do some crinkling for you since you've missed it so much. <laughs> Cute little these are the little most the sturdy bags yes and look oh, oh look at the polka dots oh, I, I don't remember what the inside of mine is like oh you're headed out okay yep. bye sky bye. bye honey have a nice dinner love you we love you too come back before midnight or you turn into a pumpkin Some granny look at that blue she's got shark bags everybody that loves shark week she's got shark Oh, wow. Fabric. It's, she's got such I'm greatness. Open mine. You can open yours too? I wonder what the fabric is on the inside. Oh, I bet you it's gray polka dots like that little piece right there. Where? What piece? This little piece right here. Maybe. Bye, everyone. Bye, Sky. Bye, Sky. Have fun. Hold on a minute. Let me pull up. Let me pull up the cool ones that she has in her shop right now. Just okay. so you can see. Dag told us, we talked to Dag a few minutes ago. She told us that she was going to be adding more yarn to her shop too. Oh, I I think I have that bag. Too. Yeah, you do the firefly bag. bag. No, I have that one. You have that one. I have that one. No, I have three. Gosh. It was jellyfishy. Oh wait a minute. Oh, oh cute. Thank you, Darlene. You're so sweet. For she is the again. most generous. Look at yeah, that shark she, one. I think she's given away a lot of bags. Look at to the a shark. Lot of people. I think she has too. She's so nice. She's so much nicer than we are. Tell me about it. We disappear live? for months on end and don't even say hello. It's your oh. fault. No, truly, we have tried to podcast on two separate occasions since January, and we've had to stop because of weather in yeah. Georgia and the the. Signal was the signal terrible. was terrible. So, Thank anyway, you. anything else we need to talk about as far as life? Yeah, so Jared jumped out of an airplane at Airborne this summer. Very first jump. He broke the bone right above his ankle, right? <laughs> the outside bone of your lower leg is the fibula, and it really only takes about 10% of your weight bearing. And he, he came down kind of hard. He didn't break it then, but he was in this little sort of 12-inch rut in the grass. And when the the parachute comes down over your head after you land, it kind of kind of jumps you forward. That's when it broke. His oh, foot got caught in this little I rut. I didn't know that. Yes. And he thought it was just sprain. And of course, the people there are like, "It's just sprain." Let's just and get wasn't over it, it because wasn't it because the wind came up or something and messed up his chute? Or well, was it just that he land? He just happened to land in that rut and his foot got rut. caught. It probably would have happened oh even if he had God. the perfect landing. But they say only, you know, they tell these kids, only 1% of people actually get hurt. There's 400 jumping. Leave it up to your son. There was four people that got hurt. He was one of them. It was He was truly in the 1%. I said, you should have bought... A lottery ticket. There were 40 people jumping? 400. Oh, 400. And he was, was the one, only one? There was four people. Oh, yeah. That's 4%. That's... I know my 1%. Math. 1%. Yes, 1%. Sorry. See what I said? <gasps> the math is just... Okay. Did we talk about my math problem? Yeah, we did. Let's talk about 2 plus 2. What's that? Oh, stop. <laughs> She's so mean. Even one of the captains hurt his knee badly. On that same day, really, and the, and Jared that. said that the sky was sort of overcast. He said that it was okay for the plane to go up, but there was some wind shifting that day. So he said it was. He says, "Mom, I swear." And people may say this after the fact. He says, "But I swear, when we were going up, he felt like something bad was going to happen." And he's still two still days before graduating. On. Two days before graduating, and he didn't get to graduate. He's going to have to do it again another time. 
And he hopes he gets a spot next summer because he really wants to. In order to go to ranger school, you have to complete airborne training. And He'll so do it. He'll do I'm it. I'm sure he will. He's the type that gets it done. So now he's non-weight bearing. He just was two weeks, with, so he had to have surgery. That was the other thing. He just couldn't crack it, you know? You had to have surgery. The next had day. a big old plate, plate with screws, screws stuck in the side. We saw pictures. I'll put a picture in at the end. They can see. Yeah, if you really want to see that. We'll put it at the very end. The very, very end. Last After picture. After the thanks for watching, we'll put it in at the very yeah, end. Yeah, do that. <laughs> that way people don't want to see somebody's <laughs> x-ray with broken bones everywhere. It's actually But he's got a very bad. positive attitude. He's he's okay with it. He's like, I had a pity party for myself about for 20 minutes, and I'm just like, well, we're just, this is something we have to overcome. It's called life. Yeah. I said, that's right. This is called life. Good for him. So... But Levi's out at Harding University, nine hours away. He did went through two weeks of football training. It sounds like they're going to redshirt him and all the other freshmen. So, and that'll be okay. I think, I think he needs a year to get. I mean, he's still practicing and conditioning and all of that. But I think he'll need he'll he'll need this year to get settled into college life and. Yeah, it gives him a chance to kind of get used to the whole class. About four days after he moved in, he called me and said, I'm doing my first load of laundry. I said, first load of laundry? You haven't even been there more than 48, 72, four days. He says, Mom, I changed my clothes about three times a day. <laughs> I mean, just they, of Arkansas, and we're, and... yes, Searcy at Arkansas is just above Little Rock. And to be, to be in that part of the country, I would have never thought you would have such extremes in temperatures, I mean, they had... You're all the way over on the side. You need to move closer to me. They have had heat indexes of 110 Fahrenheit oh plus. Wow. And in the winter, they have ice storms and blizzards and snow. So anyway. But then Jared said, oh, yeah, first little laundry. He says, Mom, their laundry place, you, it's in the basement of the dorms. They go down. You don't remember having to collect quarters to yeah. put in the door. <laughs> And then you come back and hope that it's done. You know, hope Nana that your stuff is stolen. quarters to James Jr. And he's like, what are these? What are these? <laughs> Our machines don't take quarters. You have a card. You put the card in. Well, you don't need to get a card. You just scan it. You just scan it. Oh. You, and it goes right onto your account. Okay. And then it gives you a little alert on your phone when the thing is done. No way. Yes. So you it's don't specific have to the machine. Yes. Get the heck out. You don't even have to stay there. You don't have to stay there. So you don't, I mean, if you don't go, I mean, so other people can probably go spoiled. get your clothes, but yeah, spoiled. Tell me about it. It's all about time management. But Levi took his big blankie with him and I had a picture. I'll put, we'll maybe put the picture of his dorm room. Yeah, yeah. He's got his knitted blanket that I knit him on his bed. And he's like, mom, I love that thing. That's the Aww. best thing. No, he said the best thing was the fans. <laughs> The Bought him a stand-up fan. Yeah, be, um, because you can't... Do they not have air conditioning? They have air conditioning, but every room... It's not like it's, it's specific to your one room. So they oh, may keep where it James at 75. goes to school. He's got his own thermostat. Oh, no, he not it there. Down to 60 if he wants. Not there, so they have to run these fans because they're always hot. That's an older... Probably Maybe. an older building. I don't know. Well, so, James Jr. has been at school for the last... To Except for today, he's weeks. come home for lunch and his mother's yes, not and there. Yes, I wasn't there to see him. But he's doing all this training. All the students moved in this past weekend. They start classes tomorrow. So he did two weeks of training for his academic mentor thing. <clears throat> he's all excited. He was in a different, different building altogether from where he was mm. last two years. Mm -hmm. So he was a little bit kind of bummed. He wasn't going to be with his same oh, friends. Okay. I said, well, you'll meet new people. And of course, he's like, yeah, my team is awesome. You know, my building is great. I met a couple new people. I'm like, of course. So he's having a great time. And Luke's just been surfing as much as he can possibly surf. He's been surfing a lot. He's been going every day, practically, getting up in the morning or going at night, depending on how the waves are. And he starts school tomorrow, too. I'm not going to be there for his first day of his senior year. I'm such a terrible Is mother. Is his dad going to take a picture of him his first day? I hope so. He needs to. I'm going to tell him. to Show the picture me. Luke had made for his ID. <laughs> oh, gosh. He wore the Knitting Nana's fringe jacket from the 1970s. 60s? Or 70s. I don't know when it was from. I, don't know. I can't believe we still have that jacket. I still have it. Mom was going to throw it away. I said, you will not throw that away. Did it stink? Let's see. It's in my... No, it doesn't stink. Okay. It's leather. It's... Inside? It's suede. It's beautifully I made. Let's see if I can and find it. sunglasses on? Yeah, he put these <laughs> little sunglasses, these little... What are they called? Um, John Lennon sunglasses. Let's see if I can find it. He's going to be so embarrassed if I show this. 
for the seniors when they get their ID pictures. It's not a picture that they have that's like, like a, a yearbook, like or a yearbook or anything. It's only on their ID for their for their senior year. Do they get oh, here IDs like that for every year? Every year, yeah. They're all day? different. You, freshmen, and it's basically your ID. But look at that. <laughs> look at that brown leather. I really wish they would have would have zoomed back a little bit to catch some of the fringe because the fringe starts like right here, right below. He's so cute. So that was fun. He's such a stud. He's starting a senior year. He's going to try and get all of his... All the different groups of seniors that stick to their own little crowd, he's going to try and get everybody to mingle together for this last year. He and Molly have decided that it's going to be their charge to get everybody to do stuff no together. No clicks allowed? No clicks allowed. So how we'll many, see. How many kids are in their class? Um, I would say it's probably under 200. Oh, not too big. Not too, too That's big. A lot of no, people, though, but it is a lot. Everybody. Yeah. There's probably about 1,000 kids at the school, maybe. 800 to 1,000 kids at the school. It's a pretty big school. I think Jared's graduating class was 98 people. Well, ours was only like 100, remember? Yeah, ours, was, yeah. ours was pretty small. So that's all the family stuff. And James Sr.'s been playing golf and just running around, being retired, riding his motorcycle. We actually played golf when we went up to Pismo Beach. I didn't play. I I walked the course for the nine-hole course with you them. Walked? It was really nice. They had a golf course. We, no, the second course oh, we went oh. to, we got the cart, and I was. I was like, I was they were riding the cart, made you walk out. Of it. No, like, no, no, that, no. We went to two beautiful courses up there, Looks so like that was nice, and that was a fun little getaway. Traffic wasn't too bad getting up and back. So, so what do we have planned? Anything planned? Who's we? Us? Just in general. Well, I'm going to Hawaii in three oh, weeks just going to hawaii that's all so i start my new job new job i work for two weeks and then i have two weeks off and during that two weeks for one week in the kind of from tuesday to tuesday me and james and tanya and kurt her husband it's, it's their one year anniversary and they everybody went on their one year anniversary I know. Hawaii, don't they and they planned this trip they didn't go on a honeymoon so this no. was their honeymoon and they invited anybody that wanted to join them and you know a lot of people are like, busy yes. that time of year and when i when we were out to dinner with them I didn't know that if James would want to go, and James was like, "I said, James, you want to go to Hawaii with these two? And he's like, "Yeah, let's do it." So I was like, "Okay, time's retired." Like, he doesn't have to ask so, for time off. Yeah, he doesn't have to ask for time off. He but can that was pick before up and go. you knew you were going to change before. jobs. That was before. So when I when I signed on with my new job, I said, "Well, you know, I have this vacation plan." She said, "That's okay. Just take the time; it'll be fine." So I'm going to work for two weeks, and then take two weeks off, and then I'll be back at it full time. So. Let's talk, because I know we're going to get questions. We're going to Maui. That's the, that's oh. the island we're going to. Yes. What About, questions? The, I'm, somebody is going to message us and say, are those voodoo dolls behind you? Oh. It happened once before. <laughs> so no, they're angels. This is Mom's Angel Collection. Part of it. Part of it. There's more even below us. Yeah. And some are 30-some years old, 40, 50 they're years old. They're kind of creepy looking. And I have some more over. In between the windows. Yeah. You can see Amy's front lawn. Oh, oh, careful. Look, the front yard lard is actually getting grass growing. Isn't that exciting? Yeah, it's exciting. So they're not voodoo dolls. That's the angel, the handmade. This one looks kind of scary, though. Look, it doesn't have any hair. That must be one of the old ones. This one, too. Yeah. The ones with the crisscross, Mom said, I think were like 35 years old. Oh, wow. These are these are these are the newer ones. Her friend Sue William made. Oh. Those are the ones over between the windows. I don't even really want to touch them. I'm afraid they're going to fall apart. They won't fall apart. So, anyway. So, how has everybody been doing? <sighs> what have y'all been up to? Do you guys want to do a holiday knit along? Should we're we waiting. Pick a pattern? We're waiting. Last oh, year I did my socks and I did my mystery mittens, if you guys remember. I'm doing the spring knit along for our mystery knit along, but do you want to do something that's not a mystery? I am do you want to just pick a pattern and do it together? What do you... Oh, we need to show the other things we're knitting. What other things? This the one I'm knitting. What is that? Oh, your V-back tea? V-back tea. Okay. I am going to be doing a collaboration with Lori from Arkansas Yarn Company. Um, I am working on a DK wrap 
which she is going to be doing the dyeing of yarn and kits. So that may be coming in the fall. Oh my gosh. This is my be back to Debbie you. cast this on when we were in the airport on the way to EYF two yes. almost two years ago. Oh my gosh. Tubular cast on. Yeah. It's a really pretty pattern. And this is Hugh Loco Finch, yes? Yes. I have three different skeins. So this top skein is almost all the way done. I saved a little bit it's to sparkle. do a little bit on the sleeves. It's sparkle. And then the next skein is MCN, and it's a little bit lighter. And then the last skein is also MCN, and it's got a little bit more color in it. So I'm going to do that one. I'm going to fade that one into the bottom so it's down at the bottom. So it's going to be like that. Yeah. But the V-back T is actually written as a fade. It's by um, Jamie Hoffman, and she is known as Natosophy Natos Designs, like philosophy, but with knit. I'm trying to find Just a one moment. Hey, I'm getting glass. I'm getting actual prescription glasses. She jumped New in and decided to get the Okay, so this is, it's a paper pattern. So I don't have to wear and granny glasses. Of course I did it black and white. But the V can go in the back or the front. But isn't that cute? So if you feel a little more floozy, wear it in the front. If you feel a little more hip and sassy, wear it in the back. And here's the side view. So you end up having like this little triangle. I can't do that backwards. What the heck? See that little triangle of color that you have to you fill in at the end? One. Which one? That see one? it better on that one? I don't know. Yeah, maybe. Maybe this one will see it better. Right in there. So that part of this probably in that side triangle will be the darker. The darker one uh, with the more color. Let's see, see, it's got a little bit more brown in it. I think. You are going crazy with yellow. I she know. Bought, she brought with her two yellow top, two new shirts that were beautiful golden color. And that's really good on her. So I'm excited. It's going to be, and it's, it's going to be really nice. It's really, I'm at the point now where I'm just going around and around and around. I'm increasing at this V part and decreasing in the back or on the sides, I guess it is. And it's really pretty. This is the front. It's the scoop neck at the front. Pretty. It's really interesting how they, you can wear it either way. It's nice to have whichever yeah. you want to. So this was my on the airplane knitting on the way out here, which was good. And I'm housing this in my beautiful bento tie oh. bag from our friend Christy, who we went. Red Raider Knits. Yeah. She made this as a gift. Or for Farm us. Wife Daily Life. She's got two accounts. Yeah. She is a sweetheart. Thank you, Christy. Skyland's fall break is the first week in October, which happens to be her birthday week. And I've decided to take off that week. And I'm trying to talk my husband into going to Myrtle Beach for the week. It's so wonderful going to the beach in October because everybody's in school. There's mm -hmm. a lot of sales because it's after Labor Day. Things are a little cheaper and it's not it's so hot. Yeah. You can actually spend some time laying on the beach in the sun With instead no of umbrella. under the umbrella the whole entire time because yeah. you about roast. So it's really a beautiful time of year to go to the beach. So, And if he doesn't want to go, I'm really thinking maybe Sky and I yes, might go. Yes, I the think two you guys should go just the two of you. How much fun would that be? Buy a couple coloring books and a pack of crayons and take some cards like we used to do at the beach and play. And take our nail stuff. We can do our yes. nails every other night like we used to do at the beach. That would be fun. I don't think yeah, you should so. invite him anymore anyways. You should just say, I listen, yeah. I, I know you've been... I know you've been reluctant, and I'm just going to take the stress away from you. You can have a week to the house all to yourself. I don't think he'll think I'll we'll know how to get there and get... Oh, please. How old are you? I know, but... You don't really need him to take care of you. You just... But I make him think I need him a well, lot. Well, that's okay. Yes, he'll... I do need him a lot. He just finished the fence. We have got... you checked on those dogs out there to make sure they haven't climbed under the fence that you is not quite finished? There's, There's no place to climb under. Because he made sure of it. He's very particular. He just put up the fence in our backyard. But you haven't fence. checked on those puppies all day. I looked out you? there yesterday and they were still alive. Yesterday? <laughs> Amy, today, they can get out in the yard now, can't they? We'd see them out front here. Okay. After I'll check on them. They're check. fine. Okay. They're so excited to have like the whole yard again. 
Yes, they they had fenced in a small area of the yard for them. Their little play pen while we were working on the fence, but it's been but six months it's... since we've started working on the fence. And oh, it's really weird because our old fence was wood, six feet high. So these dogs never knew, knew what was the, beyond the fence. They just figured that was their <laughs> That's why they world. wanted to dig under there and see what was over there. So then when we took the fence down, these deer and animals would come into our yard, huge deer. Up, within, all the way up into in your yard? In the backyard, yes. And the dogs would be barking and barking. I'm like, what are they barking at? And there's a big deer just eating the grass. And they're like... Oh. Maybe there, maybe there's a deer. And I'm sure they were thinking, man, that's one big sucker dog. Maybe he'll come over here and play. <laughs> come over here and play. Come over. And the, dog, the deer's like, mm-hmm. Little yappy dogs. Squirrels and rabbits and all kinds of things that they never really known existed. They'll enjoy it. So now the back, the three sides of the backyard is black chain link fence. So they can still see through to the woods now at least now the coyotes can't get them. No. The coyotes can coming. come up and sniff and smell them, they but they won't sniff. be able to get in. <laughs> no. Let's hope not. <laughs> so talk about Serengeti. Oh, Serengeti. Speaking of animals that eat each other. I know. Serengeti is on the... History Channel? Maybe the History Channel. It comes on... National Geographic Channel? One of those. I don't know. It comes on at 8 o'clock on Animal Sunday Planet. nights. <laughs> oh, maybe Animal Planet. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, so anything that has o'clock. something to do with animals and, Check and, those and interesting, they use drones and little cameras that were covered in... Look like a rock. Look like a rock on wheels that would move through the grass and try to... And they're, they're doing this narrated, real-life story about all the different animals in this, on the Serengeti. They follow they're the same there for a whole groups year. of monkeys yes. and the same groups of... Hyenas and hyenas and so they the kind of piecing together what they think they're thinking, I guess. Yeah, I mean, and like, some of the camera angles are simply telescopic. I'm sure for the eagle flying, you yeah. can see him and, his, and you see his, his feathers, feathers are flying. flying. So this and just down on the ground, looking up as the baby lion cub is jumping on his dad, dad and he, it's like right there. And then it's crazy. These, they they must have different. Yeah, timing of it, and then, and then they piece, piece it, it all together, together to make it look like it was all one event. So we're 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 recording each one. So I made Debbie watch the first one, then I made her watch the second. She's like, "Oh, we're gonna watch." <laughs> no, the first. I like it. You can make me. I want. I to made watch Ronnie, it. and then I made Skylin, and within and she was like, ten minutes, are like, <laughs> <laughs> it's watch really it well done. I think it yes. might be done by Disney. I think Disney think? is part of the fun because you see all those Disney commercials. Oh, because Lion King came out, and it was like perfect timing. I may be wrong. I don't know how many episodes there are going to be, but it's tonight again at 8 o'clock. This is the third episode, so so nice. Yeah. And then you get really attached to one of the little monkeys, and something happens to them, you're like, oh! <laughs> they must cry. I was like, life goes but on. But that one can't die. I know. In the Disney cartoon, they come back to life. They were just <laughs> off on a little mission. <laughs> But then you Not see something get like pounced see. on by another animal. Oh, oh, the way like, that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we won't talk about it. Yeah, you should go watch it. it. It's very well watch it. done. It's a, yes. It's Did a you have one. any other knitting you wanted to show? Another summer. 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 Some. Some. Summertime. 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 Some. Some. <laughs> I'm not having summers yet. Okay, 49 and a half. That's, That's when things start. That's where I'm started. at right I now. Know. Don't curse me. Maybe mine won't come till I'm 54 and a half. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna think that. Maybe. Okay, so yay, we finally got to podcast. Yes. And mom and dad probably don't even have to take a break. No, because it's not gonna be too long. And Desu is gonna say, "Girls, that it's been a long time. time. You're back. We don't you only have did that it for thirty minutes, but we don't have that much to show. Next time, maybe no. we'll have more to show. Oh, I steeked my soldatna. <gasps> yes. And I'm working on the button band, Any but I didn't bring it? it. I have it before I steeked it. So beautiful. Oh, gosh, Fingering weight, Saldatna, that she had to actually do math. How did you do the math? How I, did I, I you do the math? I have no idea. Okay, so here is the top part of the color work. Isn't that to die for? I bought the yarn at Stitches Midwest. No, Stitches United. Oh my gosh, just two months ago. Yes. And so this, it looks like it's purple at the top. It's really a dark, dark blue. Maybe so that that's what so I'm pretty. using for the button band. I had to adjust mm -hmm. the pattern and make the color work rose more because I was doing fingering and my row gauge is smaller. Otherwise, the color work wouldn't have been 
deep enough to get me to where I had to do the sleeves. So I added some rows in between the thin stripes. I added some rows to the vertical up and down, made mm -hmm. those taller. I didn't change the feather part in the middle at all, but, but everything else I adjusted, oops, I adjusted a little bit. Um, so yeah, I'm excited. So above and below the feather, you increased so rows. Right, right in here where that little white stripe is, I added a blue stripe above and a blue stripe below. And same thing here, I added a blue stripe and then up here I added a blue stripe and a blue stripe. And then those are longer and these are longer than what the pattern calls for. Wow. The vertical stripes I added And you're not doing the rows. little dots in the main body. Right. Because I have variegated color there and I don't know that you would see the yeah. lighter color blipped in there. And it was just easier for me just to knit, 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 knit. So I'm all the way down to the bottom. I did the bottom and I steaked it and I'm working on the one button band. I'm just going to do button bands with no button holes. And then if I want to put a couple buttons on there just for show, I'll probably do that. But yeah, I'm excited. So it was going to be too complicated cool. to try and be doing all those pieces um, while I was traveling. So I picked up You're my... You're going to do a short sleeve? Yes. I'm going to do probably a sleeve that comes to the top of my elbow. Oh. Because it's if I do it any longer than that, it's going to compete with the length of the sweater, and I want it to be okay. different. At least that's what the Knitting Nana suggested, and I well, thought it was a very good, good idea. idea. Very good ideas. So hopefully that'll be done in the next month or two, maybe even sooner. i got to think about what knitting I'm going to take to Hawaii. How about you take a whip? That's what the Knitting Nana would say. Work on things you've already started. I be I, maybe I can finish the mystery knit along. Oh, for sure. I may even finish that before. You might. So. Mystery. So leave comments below and let yes. us know if you want to do a knit along through the holiday. So let's also say we we're up for we're up for options for the name. You know it has to start with a mother's I was thinking a mother's wish, a mother's dream or a mother's prayer. What do you think? This is like, I'm thinking this is something you, you're you sending off with your loved ones, your children. It's my wish for you. It's my dream for you. about a mother's you. kick in the ass? Would that work? No. no. A oh, mother's punt. punt. <laughs> <laughs> Drop punt. Drop kick. <laughs> That's the kind final of what you do. goodbye to get your kids out of your house. The mother's, the mother's empty punt. nest. Empty. I'm not an empty nester yet. I'm not either. I'm You're not gonna, gonna be. Have I'm gonna be dead time. before I'm an empty nester. All right, we're chattering way too much. Okay, we're gonna say goodbye. Okay, goodbye. We've missed you. If you'd like to see my son's cracked up leg, wait till after the. Thank you for watching. Okay. Say bye.